Y'all watch this. So I can seamlessly move my cursor from this iMac over to this MacBook and then over to my iPad. No, it's not a magic trick, but it certainly feels like one. It's actually Apple's latest wizardry, which I got to test out for a couple of weeks before it launched. Now with Apple's latest software updates, iPad OS 15.4 and Mac OS Monterey 12.3, you can do it too, but only if you have the right gear. Apple calls it universal control. If you haven't heard of the feature or haven't tried it, I'll tell you everything you need to know. I'm also going to explain how this machine magic works to keep people inside of Apple's walled garden of products and services. With universal control, you can now use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac and iPad. Apple first teased universal control at its developers conference in 2021. And basically it allows you to make connections between devices without using any wires. But the name is a bit misleading because it's not actually universal. Apple tucked it inside a new software update solely for Macs and iPads, not iPhones. However, it's still pretty useful for helping you streamline your productivity, allowing you to shift content between multiple devices using one mouse or a trackpad. I can use my iMac's Magic Keyboard as a keyboard for my iPad without really needing to change anything. And I can use one mouse to control all the devices too. Notice how the pointer on my computer turns into a little circle on my iPad. And there's a lot to like about it. With an open highway between your Mac and your iPad, you can drag and drop files. You can copy and paste text from one device to another. You can also use three finger gestures on your trackpad to switch between apps on your iPad. And if you're like me and hate typing on an iPad, universal control makes that a lot more natural feeling too. Especially for long documents, since you can use your Mac's keyboard to type on your iPad. And it's a two-way street since you can doodle and paint on your iPad using the Apple Pencil and drag and drop those files right onto your Mac. The first time I used it, it just kind of happened. It actually took me by surprise. It's as if my iPad knew it was next to my Mac. Actually, that's exactly what happened. There are some things to keep in mind though. First, you have to make sure all your devices are signed into the same iCloud account, have Bluetooth turned on, and are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. They also have to be within 30 feet of one another and unlocked. The biggest key of all is that a Mac has to be in the driver's seat, acting like a central hub. You can't use it with just iPads, but if you have a Mac desktop or laptop, you can use those with up to two iPads. Also, universal control doesn't work on all iPads and Macs. So why did Apple do this? Well, you might have noticed that your devices are cooperating more and more as time goes on. You probably take for granted that you can pick up your messages on any of Apple's devices. Your Safari browser can now surface what you were looking at on your phone. AirDrop first let you share content between devices in 2011, and by 2019, Sidecar let you turn your iPad into an external monitor. That made multiple devices feel more like one, and now Universal Control is picking up where that left off. That's a quick look at Universal Control on Mac OS Monterey. Sure, each of these is time-saving and shows Apple's key advantage over its rivals. Apple controls most of its hardware and software ecosystem, but each of these releases also makes it harder to exit Apple's walled garden. Now that universal control will let more of your Apple devices speak to each other more harmoniously, you're probably less likely to go out and buy a Chromebook or Windows laptop since those devices aren't compatible with Apple software. But that's the trade-off with Apple's magic. Sure, you get something useful that seems like it should have always been there, but only if you keep buying stuff emblazoned with this logo. If you want to know more about the latest tech or how any of it works, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below letting me know what you think I should look into next. We'll talk soon.